So let's go over some of the structures that are involved in the mid-swing phase of the swing phase of gait. We're going to go with the iliopsoas and the quads, but we'll start with one of the middle quads here with the rectus femoris. Okay, let me just bring that down to the side here. Okay, now again, we're going to bring this back here like this, grab the leg, pull it in. Now, the interesting thing about this phase of gait, this phase is characterized by the dynamic interplay of forward pelvic motion, pelvic rotation specifically, and the concurrent flexion of the, uh, the hip and the knee. You okay there, Mimi? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's just move over a little bit more lateral here. Now, what you, what you see if you've got a problem with the hip flexor, specifically with the rectus femoris, or if we get up higher here with the iliopsoas, we're going to get a reduced ground clearance. We could get a shortened stride length, altered running mechanics, decreased running efficiency, increased fatigue, and uh, very, very commonly pain or discomfort throughout the entire quads or even in the hip flexors when people are running. People come in and they wonder why they've got this problem in an area. And it may not be, the problem may not be exactly where they're feeling it symptomatically either. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go on to the iliopsoas here. Just lie on your side, please. Okay, so let's do it two different ways. Leg in here. You okay with me reaching in here? Yeah. Okay, okay. So bring your leg back and your arm up at the same time. Bring it right back and down. Okay, how's it feel? <laughs> it's tight. Yeah. <laughs> up again. One more time. And up. Okay. And up. What else I could do here is just bring my forearm down here. Bring it back. No, you're fine. I'm not going to go too deep. Bring your leg back. That's really pinned. Okay, and back. So I'm not going too deep here. And back. I'm afraid Mickey may have a different opinion. <laughs> and back. Okay, good. Not too far. And back. One more time. And back. Okay, let's have you lie on your back. What felt like I was actually pinning off the hip flexor more when I used my hand or when I actually used the your, elbow yeah, forearm? Your, your forearm and elbow, yeah. Yeah, Way because more. I was actually bracing it posteriorly. It was like I was actually doing a bit of compression yeah. at the same time. No, 100%. It was a broader surface, yeah. too. Move over a little bit so it didn't feel as pokey. No, no, definitely not pokey. Okay. I'm going to go my hand here. Take it down. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Taking it down. Back up, good, and down. Back, you okay? Yeah, just trying to relax my abdominals and not kick okay. my Okay, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> and down, good. So again, we do probably, oh, it could be three to five passes, could be even a bit more depending on whether we're feeling it release or not. We may even actually be, have to hold a position, get the patient to breathe in, breathe out, and let it slowly release coming down. You okay? Yep. Good. Back up again. Let's do that one more time. Okay. I'm going to get you to uh, lie on your side facing over places. And let's just get a little bit on the inside here. And I'll get you to straighten the leg out, flex the foot. Okay. Feeling that quite a bit? Mm hmm. Okay. So. When I'm doing this, I'm not only going on a bit of the medial quadricep, the vastus medialis, but I'm also getting a little bit on the adductor magnus as I'm working along. Now, in general, when you're seeing a problem with the quadriceps and we're looking at the gait pattern of mid-swing, we could see reduced uh, knee extension, increased ground uh, contact, um, if this is really, really tight, in other words, we may not be clearing things as we, we should. Uh, in general, altered running mechanics, decreased running efficiency, and uh, very, very common to have anterior thigh discomfort. 
And with all of these coming together, there's going to be increased fatigue. So if a person is running a longer race, as whether we're talking 10K half marathon or marathon, this could have a huge influence on their efficiency. You okay there, Mickey? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That doesn't really hurt too much, eh? No, I actually feel that's a neat way to get in there. I yeah. like that. Okay, so if I found something a little bit restricted, I may go a little bit internal rotation and down. Rotation and down. That kind of changes the vector quite a bit, though, doesn't Big time, it? Yeah. Down. But not that severe. No. And I'm not using the ends of my fingers so it's not pokey. No, it's no. Good. So these are some of the primary structures that we would consider when we have a problem with the mid phase of the swing cycle. Um, really, really powerful work can make a huge difference in both injury prevention and performance.